the headlines. The parents who made claims that a BBC presenter paid their teenager for explicit photos stand by their allegations, despite a lawyer for the now 20-year-old saying the claims are rubbish. Turkey's president backs Sweden's membership of the NATO alliance after resisting for many months. It's emerged Vladimir Putin met the head of the Wagner mercenary group days after he led a failed mutiny. And a scanning method involving a see-through mouse that could revolutionize the testing of cancer drugs. Now, South Korea has restated its commitment to welcoming North Korean defectors. The number who've escaped and made it to the South has fallen dramatically over the past decade or so, from 3,000 a year to fewer than 100. But South Korea thinks that more people will try now that Pyongyang has eased COVID restrictions. Its main reception center is getting ready to greet them. And the Spanish Coast Guard says it's rescued 86 people after a migrant boat went missing off the Canary Islands more than a week ago. The boat was reported to have been about 70 miles south of Grand Canaria, having set off from Senegal. To Thailand next, at least one person has died and a number of others have been critically injured after a huge metal structure fell onto a busy road in Bangkok. The massive girder that fell was part of a project to build elevated highways in the city. The cause of the accident isn't yet known. The United Nations says it's extremely worried about the record high temperatures that are being recorded around the planet. The latest data from the World Meteorological Organization shows the world has experienced its hottest June ever, accompanied by rising sea temperatures in the North Atlantic. A court case has begun in the United States, aiming to resolve a dispute over Aretha Franklin's estate. The singer died in 2018, and three of her four sons are now contesting how her multi-million pound fortune should be shared after several different handwritten wills were found in her home.